Hi there. Welcome to this video. Come and join me as I journey up into the Peak District for some landscape photography. I've decided to go out tonight, this evening, after work for some landscape photography. Um, I only work about 15 minutes away from the Peak District, so very, very quickly I'm up into the middle of the heart of the National Park. I've not been to this location before that I'm planning to go to tonight, so I'm going to see what kind of uh, things I can see there. Maybe I'll get some pictures, maybe I won't, but it's a good place to scout for future um, excursions uh, when I've maybe got better light. Now it's quite sunny tonight um, and I don't know whether I can stay here long enough for the sunset because it's a good four hours away um, but it'll give me a good opportunity to scout the place out and see what I can get for future um, trips up to this location. I haven't done a landscape vlog in ages and there's something about landscape photography that's so much more calming than um, wildlife photography. Wildlife photography is a lot of waiting about, it's still very pleasurable but you're not guaranteed getting a shot. With landscape photography the landscape just sits there waiting to be discovered and all you've got to be is in the right place and with the right eye you can get something really pleasing. There's something I find really therapeutic about coming into the countryside. After a day at work, just to unwind and trying to just stretch my artistic muscles slightly, it's just really relaxing. So I really enjoy landscape photography for that reason. Now at the moment I'm just outside a little village called Earl Sterndale which is in the Peak District. This hill here that's above me is Parkhouse Hill. Now I have filmed here before. If you check out the card and down below in the comments you can see some previous videos that are filmed up on top of this hill here. But I'm going to go a little bit further tonight. I'm looking for a limestone pavement. So we'll see what this brings. So I've arrived at a place called Upper Edge. Now you can see that there's some interesting limestone outcrops. There's a nice tree here that can be used in a composition. And just at this time, which is half past seven, the sun's fairly low in the sky. So I'm getting some pleasing light. It's not too contrasty, which is just about right for getting some idea on how I can create some pictures. Now I've not bought my tripod with me purposely because I want to be a little bit freer. It's more of a just fact finding um, night tonight just to get an idea about what this location's like. It looked really great with some moody sky rather than this blue stuff that's up here at the moment. But I'll have a scout round and keep some ideas in my mind for the future. Already seems very promising. Thank you. 
I'm sure you've noticed quite a bit of drone footage in this video that I've not been using before. That's because I've just taken my drone theory test and I'm going to put a special video up on Wednesday to tell you all about how to prepare for that test. If this is your first time visiting the channel and you like what you see, don't forget to click like, subscribe and the bell notifications. That way you'll get notified of all of my future content. So I've just had a go at taking this composition here with this rock in the foreground and the tree in the background. Now to make sure that everything stayed in focus, what I did was I focused on the rock first of all and then I focused on the tree. But I kept my focus point on a specific point on the rock so that when I get it back into the computer they'll line up pretty well. Now ideally that should be done on a tripod to make sure it's really accurately um, uh, lined up. But in Photoshop you can do something that's called align layers and get them pretty much spot on and I can still manage to do a focus stack regardless that I didn't use a tripod. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a little wander around. I'm going to try some different angles to see if I can find a really pleasing composition. At the moment, I've got my 2420 lens on, but I might swap that out for the 20 mil lens to give me something even wider. And it's a case of just walking around, crouching down, standing up, going with a different rock in front and just trying out different ideas until something appears that is pleasing. So because this evening I'm just checking out the location, I am breaking quite a few landscape rules. I'm not using a tripod. I'm focus stacking without a tripod. I'm taking lots of shots rather than really focusing on just finding a great composition. But it all is done on purpose. It's just to have a, a feel for the location, to try and get some ideas of what's available here. And just have a little bit of fun as well. It's nice just being out, taking some different kinds of pictures. So while there's still a little bit of light, I'm going to move on to another limestone pavement that's a little bit further down the road. It's called High Edge. Um, hopefully that'll give me some more ideas about future venues. I think I've got quite a few shots here, but now it's time to move on. So I reckon I've probably got about an hour of good light left. It's really lovely out here. It's still really warm. I'm having a great time. So I'm going to have a wander onto the top of the edge, have a little scout round, and then I think I'll call it a night. What a truly glorious evening that's been. It's been a real joy to be out again in the countryside taking some photographs. I don't know whether I've got anything that's good. You can be the judge of that. You will have seen them already. But that is completely irrelevant. I've had a good reconnaissance of some good locations that I can come back to again. I'm pretty sure that these will be much more effective with a dark, moody sky. And then I can, I can see them in black and white 
and being really, really gritty and powerful. Um, so it's definitely a place to come back again. And so I'm really, really glad that I've been and got an idea of these two locations. I'm gonna wander back to the car now and leave this video for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell notifications to make sure that you get informed of all of my future content. So all I need to do now from here in the Peak District is say stay safe and I'll see you soon. The, the, oh. A village called Urns. And this hill here, there, there. Again, I'm going to record that again because it just sounded a load of shit.